Hey, what's up, Anafinex? Tech Black Knight from AndroidRoots.com. With me, I got Galaxy S3. And today is going to be very, very popular in a hot round, which is called AOKP. You probably heard it if you heard it on another device like a Galaxy Nexus or just a uh, AOKP just in general because it is very hot round. It supports a v wide variety of, uh, of devices as well. So you're going to get a lot of support for this ROM and just a lot of popularity and talk about this ROM throughout the whole Android community. And it's been out of the market for a long time. It's been updated to Jelly Bean Milestone 1. So this is the official Milestone 1. And I want to let you know this uh, this can be used as a daily driver. Uh, very stable, no problems whatsoever. So let's just take a look into it. Um, as you can see, I have a wallpaper. And some of you guys do ask me, where'd you get that wallpaper? So I just held on to the, uh, the home screen, as you probably do know. And I clicked on Swag Papers. <laughs> the Swag Papers. Tap on that, and then you got... Um, you got a whole bunch of uh, AOKP wallpapers that you can put on your home, uh, lock screen or home screen, I do believe. So you can just check all these out. I like, actually do like this one. It looks pretty cool. So now let's head into settings and show you the Android version, which is Milestone 1, like I mentioned earlier. So as you can see, it's 4.1.1 or 4.1.2. I'm sorry, the latest uh, Android version released. And there you go. You got Milestone 1. Also, I did forget uh, to mention it supports... T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. Um, it does. There is no support for Sprints yet. Um, I don't know um, what's going on, but they usually do have Sprint support. But I did check on the website, and there's no Sprint file for the Galaxy S3. Just do keep that in mind. So only for T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. Let's head on to into settings one more time and see some customizations you can do with this AOKP ROM. And this is a very good ROM. Um, and you can do a lot of customization. Let's go into ROM control, and you've probably seen this on other de uh, ROMs as well because um, they did. Uh, other developers did take this from AOKP and all that, you know, because it's Android community. People share a lot of things. So let's just go into uh, power menu, and you can have to change it if you want to remove uh, airplane mode. You can remove it right there, as you can see. Add it back on. You can add it back on. Very easy. Very easy to use. Just about anyone can use this, and as long as you uh, are a little familiar with custom ROMs, you'll be pretty comfortable with this ROM. Just do be aware, all of Samsung's TouchWiz, um, put down to mute, and all that other things will be removed because this is a pure Android, um, pure Android uh, experience for your Galaxy S3, which I really do like. Um, Samsung Galaxy or Samsung in general kind of ruins the experience of pure Android because they put all their little uh, layers on top, their UIs. Let's go into navigation bar, and you obviously won't, I don't think you'll be able to change this. This won't really affect you. It's set more for the Galaxy S, or Galaxy Nexus. So we'll stay away from that for now. Let's go into battery, and let's change some things. Uh, battery icon and notification. So battery icon should be, no okay, so now you can see the battery icon right there when you um put it down. So now you got a battery right there. And like I said earlier, very easy to use, and they do show like a little summary of it on some parts of the ROM, which is really nice if you're confused about it. Uh, let's change the color of the battery. Let's change it to nice green. Um, and like I said earlier, the battery doesn't seem to be changing. I don't know why, but let's change the thickness of it. So now as you can see right there, it's a lot thicker. You probably won't be able to pick it, pick it up on the camera um, just because of the angle and all that. But it does become thicker, and these are just small things that you can do. You can obviously change. Let's change the toggles. Um, let's change the toggle order. Oh, not that toggle order. So as you can see right now, I got Wi-Fi data, and then swag, the little hat right there. <laughs> and now let's change swagger to first one. And as you can see now, swagger is on the very first one. So you can specifically order all the toggles to your preference. So whichever one you use first, like Wi-Fi use first, then I use data. You can change it into your order that you really do like. And like I said earlier, it's very, very easy to use. And you can also disable um, toggles as well. So um, choose toggles to display. Let's say I want to get rid of um, auto-rotate. I don't want that anymore, right? So now as you can see, auto-rotate is uh, gone from my little widget sidebar. And as you can see, they're not the big square ones because that was from Samsung. These are the small ones that it's from AOKP and other people who helped them as well. So let's change LED. You can uh, change LED notification as well. Um, 
Let's change, the, you can do light on, you can change it for 10 seconds, and now it gives you the example for 10 seconds. And then LED off, you can change it to 0.2 seconds, it'll be really quickly. And I'm not going to test it, um, I tried testing it earlier, I don't know what's wrong, it could just be something weird, but just to keep that in mind, you have a lot of options, and you do have performance, and you obviously have themes as well. So, um, I only have one theme, but you can get more themes, I believe, from the Play Store. Um, definitely check it out in the Play Store. I'm pretty sure you can install Cygenema 10 teams, themes. Um, do not um, count me on that, but I'm pretty sure you can do this on the AOKP. Um, pretty sure it's compatible. So just search on the Play Store if you want a different type of theme, and you should be all set. Um, that's just a little basic gist of it, very quick review of it. But you obviously have to do other um, things that you can look into, and... Uh, um, a lot of uh, experience you can learn through all this. You can learn about toggles and all that. If especially if you're coming from I, uh, iPhone and iOS, all that it's a very good experience. And there's a lot to do. Tenor customization that you can, can't even do on an iPhone. So this is a very good ROM, very stable, and definitely use it. But if you're a new beginner, definitely research a little bit about AOKP because you will lose um, Samsung key support when you plug in your phone. It won't be able to sync with your Samsung keys if you use that to manage your um contacts, music, all the other good stuff. Um, it will also lose that. And like I said earlier, it will lose all the touch whiz. So you will not get a little water effect right here. You will just get a, a jelly bean lock screen. You will not get those uh, big toggles. Um, mute to uh, mute when you put your phone down. All the other good things. But very stable, very good to use. Daily driver, very definitely a uh, daily driver. And like I said earlier, it's running on 4.1.2. And that's about it, guys. Um, very good. I love it. And thanks for watching guys, hopefully you found this quick review of AOKP Jelly Bean RAM 41.12 Milestone 1 for your Galaxy S3 helpful. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and please do rate this video, give me a big old thumbs up if you found this video helpful. All download links for this ROM will be in the description below. I will see you next time. Yeah.